Hello, welcome back to Mark's Garden UK at Rose Cottage near Nantwich in Cheshire. I'm Mark and Saka have sent me a cordless hedge trimmer and grass shear to have a look at and they've asked me to do a bit of a review. Saka are the same company that a few weeks ago sent me this cordless handheld chainsaw. I found that to be a brilliant tool. I hope this tool is as good as that one. That's been incredibly useful on so many little jobs around the garden. So, let's get inside the box and see what's included in the Saka cordless hedge trimmer and grass shear. And then, let's put it to the test. I've got some hedges and I've got some grass that I can use this on today. Now, I suspect that this is going to be one of those products that does exactly what it says on the tin. Let's have a look inside. I have actually damaged this box myself in, in the process of opening it. Um, you've got some instructions there. And there's a little charger. There's a battery. You can probably buy a spare battery. I think it's always a good idea to have a spare battery at hand because if that one runs out, you can carry on with the job. Here's the tool itself. And it's already got one of the attachments attached. That's clearly the, the grass shear. You can probably use that for topiary and getting into corners, but we'll come back to that when we have a go, a play around with it. And then here is the blade. I'm going to spend a few minutes reading the instructions. It's a sharp tool. The usual safety concerns come into play. And of course, your health and safety is your own responsibility around tools like this. The first thing I would say from my experience with this tool is always make sure that the battery is off before you start playing with the tool itself. When I say playing with it, I mean taking things off and on. That was easy enough. I've not even looked at the instructions yet. Well, that was straightforward enough. Probably about 80% of that was safety information. Please read the safety information and follow it. It's things like wearing the appropriate clothing and wearing a tough biker jacket, some thorn proof gloves and some safety goggles. It also talks about not using this where there are cables. It's self-explanatory, but I bet there's a few people that forget that and cut through the odd cable or pipe. So be careful, always take precautions. And as I said before, never play with the tool or change the tool while the battery's attached because you never know, you might just accidentally press the start button. Now there are two safety mechanisms on this. You've got to have both of these engaged for it to start working. Uh, so that's a good thing. And also I noticed that it's got an adjustable head and that's going to be really useful for getting down into corners. I've got quite a lot of uh, box hedging in my front garden. Not cutting it this year, but I will be doing it at some point in the future. And I think this particular is going to be a really useful attachment for box hedging. And the way you adjust the angle is with this little green button here. Once you take your thumb off the button, it's locked in place. So now let's see how easy it is to change the attachments. Well, that was straightforward. You press both in and pull it off. Let's see how easy it is to get this on. Um, you put the little rod into the dial and then you just squeeze that and it clicks in. That was easy. This is the obviously the, the guard for the, uh, the hedge trimmer. Let's see how easy it is to get that off. Easy enough. They look very sharp. Um, I'm going to um, go and have a play with this. I'll take the camera with me and I'll show you how we get on. I've got some hedges to trim. I've got some grass to cut. Now, at certain times of the year, it's nesting season. So clearly you don't want to be going at your hedges full pelt in nesting season. So I'm just going to tickle around the edges with this um, where I've checked that there's no nests. Let's go. Now the battery took about half an hour to charge and I noticed it's got a little charge indicator here. There's a little button here and you press it and it tells you when it's got three green lights, it's fully charged. Useful that, not every battery has that. So glasses on, gloves on. 
and then we'll put the battery on. Now this hedge here at the front of the cottage has several different species of plants and they all grow at different rates. And you can see the holly here, which is relatively slow growing, is back. Uh, whereas this plant here, which is I think is some kind of privet, is growing quite quickly and that's sticking out. So that bulge there is the first thing I want to try and take off. Let's get the battery on and let's give it a go with this Saka cordless hedge trimmer. Right, here we go. I have to say that was easy to use, not too heavy, it's well balanced. In terms of price point, when you can make your own judgment on that, you can chop around, but uh, this is mid-range. Uh, I'm sure you can find them cheaper, but uh, so far, so good, let's do a bit more. Now, if I wasn't using this cordless electric hedge trimmer, I'd be using shears. And uh, I've always found that motion of using shears a little bit jarring. Um, so this is a real benefit. The other thing about this is, because it's uh, the buttons are central, you can use it with your left hand as well. So you can swap hands. Now back here, some of the hawthorn is outgrowing the holly. And I'm trying to grow this a little bit taller, but I am going to take some of these side shoots off. Absolutely no problem whatsoever so far. And I'm sure there's a skill to this. You'll probably develop skill and you'll develop muscle memory as you carry on using it. I'm just going to take some of these thicker ones off at the top because whilst I want to grow the height, I don't want it to be straggly like that. So let's have a go. That's a particularly thick piece there. Straight through. I'm being buzzed by a little fly there. We have quite a few horses and uh, cows in the neighbourhood and I think they attract the flies. Very pleased so far. Made light work of that bit of hedge. Let's go and try and find some grass to cut with this grass shear. I've got just the job. Planted last October. Loads of little holly cuttings here they've all taken. But the grass is growing up around the bottom of them. So let's try this grass shear. Of course, battery off. And then we'll change the attachment. And then we'll put this one back on. is enough. Now we'll put the battery back on. Obviously I don't want to put the cut the holly cuttings, I want to go in and amongst them between, so let's have a go. Now that has made that job really very easy. I'd have been all day there uh, with my shears trying to get in between these holly cuttings. Um, I really think that, you know, batteries, battery powered tools, they're a br brilliant innovation and I, I, I'm going to really enjoy using that. It's going to save me a lot of time in the garden. Another thing that occurs to me is that because you're up close and personal, you can look out for frogs or toads or hedgehogs that might be hiding in this long grass. Ideal in difficult to reach places. And I don't see any reason why you can't use this grass here on your hedge if you want to. Because it's cordless, you can take it a long way from the house and you don't have to worry about cutting through your own cable. I've got some slightly heavier stuff here. Let's give it a go with this angle. I've just learned that if you sweep upwards, the weight of the branch 
will force it into between the cutting teeth. So that's a little bit of learning. Now, in the future, there's no doubt that I'm going to save a lot of time and effort and energy using this uh, hedge trimmer um, grass shear on this part there. But I'm not trimming that today. In fact, I'm probably not going to trim that this year. I'm going to let it get well established. But there's some long grass here, which I've not been able to get to with my mower. Shall we see how it copes? The answer is, it coped incredibly well. A Saka cordless hedge trimmer and grass shear. It's getting my vote of approval. Thanks Saka. If you want to have a look at this product, I will put the link in the description box below this video. And if there are any discount codes, I will put them in the description box below this video as well. I hope you've enjoyed that. See you soon for some more head trimming adventures.